What did Interstellar get right about black holes, and what was pure movie magic? Let's see what Interstellar nailed and what it stretched. The big win, Gargantua's look. A fast-spinning black hole with a glowing ring of hot gas that bends light over the top and under the bottom. That lensing and the warped halo are real physics. Time near a massive spinning black hole ticks slower. That is called gravitational time dilation. The close call. The wormhole as a sphere in space is the right way to picture an Einstein-Rosen bridge. But building one and holding it open would need exotic conditions we do not have. Treat that as a thought experiment. The stretch. Miller's ocean world parked very close to a black hole. You would get strong tides, but being that close strains habitability. Radiation and tidal heating would be rough. The famous hours equal years time rate is dramatic. To get that much dilation safely, you need extreme spins and very specific orbits. The docking spin. Matching rotation to dock is real orbital mechanics. The scene is stylized, but the idea of sinking spin to line up is not nonsense. The bookshelf ending. The higher dimensional tesseract and sending messages by gravity are narrative choices. Interesting ideas, not established physics. Recap. Visuals and time dilation near a spinning black hole, strong. Wormholes in a comfy planet skimming a black hole, speculative. Docking logic, fine. The ending, story. Now you know what was science and what was cinema.